Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at your third quarter of 2024. But before we begin, I want to thank Pocket Insight for sponsoring today's video. Pocket Insight is a psychic app with worldwide experts and authentic psychics that can help you with diverse psychic services such as tarot as well as channeled and psychic readings, fortune telling, cleansing, energy, chakras, um, spells for positive things you want to achieve in your life, spiritual guidance and even interesting things that you may not have tried before such as I Ching readings as well as your Bazi Chinese astrological chart to name a few. So this app is bursting with talents and many interesting things to explore. It gives you professional insight and assistance that can help you and give you clarity on different areas of your life, such as your career, love and relationships, decision making, life path, and of course, uh, healing. They have more than 500 advisors online and more than 500,000 active users. In one of my readings, I chose to do a psychic reading, getting in touch with my guides and what they want to tell me. And she did not disappoint. She talked about the exact emotional experience I'm going through and they gave me insight on what I can expect this year, not just in terms of the type of events I can expect, but also regarding my spiritual growth, which was very interesting. And the real breakthrough I got with this specific reading was guidance on a current issue I'm struggling with, which, which she had no idea about because all I asked for was uh, messages from my guides. And they guided me to handle the situation knowing that some of these results may be short term, not there for the long run, and others may be here to stay. So I was stunned because it changed my perspective on how to handle the situation in my life. I tend to put my all into everything and to understand and accept from the very beginning, the nature of things is allowing me to put my best without the big emotional investment into it. And this change in perspective changed my energy. Uh, I can, I feel like I can be all in, which is my nature. And I'm also now okay to move when it doesn't work. It was really brilliant in my, at least in my case, because such a simple solution to what I otherwise overcomplicated felt uh, really good to receive as guidance. I will share with you in the pinned comments the psychics I tried and uh, I recommend you guys always ask me to share them. But of course, try others that you can tell can serve your purpose at this time. And of course, the ones you feel drawn to, which is more important. At the end of the day, you will find it easy to use. You will find diverse, highly qualified psychic mediums who can provide you with accurate readings and guidance. And the app helps you as well by showing you top rated ones by many others. Please note that your readings are, of course, and communications are 100% confidential, safe, private, providing you with peace of mind as you enjoy your experience. And to try it out for yourself, they are offering you a free five-minute chat and a 50% of a 24-hour reading. 24 hours meaning you get your reading within 24 hours and a premium 50% also on a premium service using the link, which you will find also in the description box and pinned in the comment section. By the way, your readings, your free reading is promised. And I mentioned this because if anything happens, such as um, uh, uh, unfortunate disconnections due to network issues, for example, you will be offered another free session as a compensation. So your free reading is guaranteed. I hope you enjoy your experience with Pocket Insight and thank you so much again for sponsoring today's video. We have four piles today for your reading. If you prefer to pick your pile or piles using your zodiac signs, you will find a timestamp to that down in the description bo box. Otherwise, you can pick your pile or piles today using the page of pentacles on top of each of the different decks. Or you can pick your piles using your crystals. If this is your preferred method, let me introduce your crystals to you. So for pile number one, you have the beautiful yellow aventurine.
for pile number two, you've got the beautiful white halite. For pile number three, you've got the green jasper. And for pile number four, you've got the green grass jasper. So take a look at which one of these four piles you're the most drawn to. And this will be the pile for you here today. As I always encourage you, in case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe today you feel drawn to all of them. There's no such thing as too little or too many, as long as you're drawn to them, or maybe you accidentally are listening to them. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to different piles. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video and take as much time as you need. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this part of the introduction was created specifically for you guys. And what I like to do is shuffle your signs really well. In today's reading, since we have four piles, I will be drawing out three zodiac signs for each pile. Okay, let's go one more time. Lovely. Right, so for pile number one, the signs are Sagittarius, Cancer, and Libra. And for pile number two, the signs are Leo, Aquarius, as well as Taurus. For pile number three, the signs are Capricorn, Gemini, and Pisces. As for pile number four, the signs are Aries, Scorpio, and Virgo. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each of the piles in today's reading. Please feel free to pick your pile or piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. Alternatively, if you prefer to pick your pile using another placement in your chart, please feel free to do that as well. Any sort of way that you prefer to pick your pile, needless to say, of course, is the right way. And it is the way that your guides communicate to you to for you to find the right pile. Once you're ready, you will find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and... I will see you in your readings.
Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at your third quarter of the year 2024. Your crystal is, of course, the beautiful yellow aventurine. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Sagittarius, Cancer, and Libra. Welcome to your reading, guys. Can't wait to get into it. Look at the page of pentacles appearing again. How cool is that? <laughs> in fact, for this specific reason, I'm going to take it for you guys when doing the reading itself. It seems like it's meant to be. And I uh, just wanted to tell you, if these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do as every quarter, we'll be taking these story cubes, casting them onto your chart of different areas of your life to find out specifically what you can expect in the third quarter. Okay, so let's get, get into it. What can ooh, pile number one expect in the third quarter of 2024, please? One, two, three. Okay, so I'm seeing you're catching something here. This is like happening right away, like you can expect it maybe even starting now whenever you're watching this reading all the way towards um, the third quarter you have something between future and relationships oh look at that family you've got something here uh, health and security and this ball between travel and wish fulfillment finally there is a commitment here so what is going on let's start off with the first thing i'm noticing um it seems like you're you are catching an opportunity now and this opportunity is going to change so many things in your life perhaps your tarot cards later can let us know what this opportunity is but seeing the butterfly and the butterfly being a symbol of change uh, sorry a transformation i get a feeling that something um, within your scope like something around you recently changed an, an opportunity changed forms or something and now that it changed forms it looks so lucrative to you so i feel like you're gonna you're gonna go ah that's a great catch i'm gonna take it and with that so many things are gonna change in your life actually i have a great idea why don't we elaborate the things that we are not so sure of using the tarot cards right away. So let's keep the page of pentacles there and let's clarify what is transforming that you will find as a great catch, my dear pile number one. So for that, you've got the five of swords. You have the eight of wands. You've got the two of swords as well as the Knight of Wands. Right, so let's get the full story on this. Five of Swords shows me that recently it feels like you've lost something uh, that you were trying to win. It seems like it didn't work out and so you left, you left it at that. This could be a relationship. This could be a project that you were trying to pursue. It really could be anything it seems like you've put your effort somewhere didn't work and you left it for a while you can see with the eight of wands the card of momentum things started to change as you left it maybe the environment this thing is in or if this is a person then their thoughts and their actions towards their lives perhaps the market quickly changed maybe something in your life caused something here to change depending on what this thing that you were working towards is. But now that you left, you realize that the direction that you're in is also blocked, is not allowing you in. Now you're cornered. And right when you really were confused, you didn't know what to do, this opportunity shows up. It seems like you start realizing, hey, look at that. Things have greatly shifted here. 
why don't I go back since it's starting to sprout and it's actually looking good? Knight of Wands shows that you're going to go into this full throttle. Things are now going to start moving really well. So I hope this explained to you what this catching of the butterfly is. If you haven't yet, I'm sure you're going to get more information and more clarity about it these days because it, because it does say right now. Okay, so now let's take a look at your health. Here, it seems like something is dropping, like for example, cholesterol levels are dropping, um, weight, you're losing weight is dropping. The reason I'm choosing good things is because you've got uh, health in conjunction with security. That's how I'm reading it, but of course, I will be clarifying with your tarot cards to see. So in my opinion, this is like uh, cho cholesterol uh, levels dropping, high blood pressure, dropping weight, dropping anything that could have like caused you harm, you're now moving towards uh, moving towards safety. So let's clarify to see what I'm seeing. I'll put these back and I'll be back. Okay, so can we kindly see please what is going on with the health and the security here? So you've got the Hierophant. You've got the Queen of Wands, all right. You have the Empress, great, okay. Empress is healing, so that's great. <laughs> I felt I saw this well. And you've got Temperance, right. So this definitely talks about um, things coming into balance. Looks like you will be following some wise instructions. This could be your doctor or an expert in a specific field advising you of how perhaps to take care of your health. Uh, like a, a doctor specialized maybe in nutrition or, or, or something. The, these are my guesses. But you're definitely getting it from experts with the Hierophant here. Um, you're, they have uh, like um, well drawn out instructions for you. And I see with the Queen of Wands that your health is coming into full power. This is the Queen of Wands, right? So, so you're healing, your health is in good power. In fact, Queen of Wands is very attractive. So for a lot of you, this could, this could be losing weight and feeling secure in your own body. And you being surprised at how great you're looking as well. Empress, by the way, is also Venusian energy, beauty, also healing. So I feel like you're flourishing for sure. Uh, it's a good thing I, I've taken a look at your tarot cards and for you also to see for yourself that this is very good energy here. Um, and and uh, there's something good about the temperance here. Whatever actions you're doing now when it comes to your health is really protecting you from other things that could have gone wrong. So good job. Uh, you're you're taking things slow with the temperance cards. A card you're putting everything into consideration, and yeah, you're looking your best. By the way, my dear pile number one in the third quarter of this year. So love this for you. <laughs> right. The third thing I want to check here is it's in the family. Seems like somebody's crying. Looks like there's something upsetting here. It's not huge because it's a finger after all, but it's still significant. So let's check out again your tarot cards and see what this is saying. I'll shuffle this and I'll be back. Okay, so let's check this one out. For pile number one, please. What is upsetting here in the family section, please, for them and for pile number one? What is upsetting here for the family section? So, you've got the Ace of Wands. You've got the Hanged Bear, the Hanged Man. You've got the Three of Cups, so nice. At least the, the three, the, uh, all of you as a family, you're happy together, which is the most important thing. <laughs> and you have the Queen of Pots, the Queen of Cups. Uh, guys, in terms of your emotional health, you're all doing so good. And there's a lot of love between you guys and the collaboration and the co uh, the communication and the love between you is really good. But here, it seems like in your family, you were waiting for an opportunity. 
and maybe you were all waiting to like maybe move to another place i think it's more yeah some of you it's moving to another place because you've got a castle here on a tree so that guess could be actually right maybe you were looking for an opportunity to move to a new place uh some of you uh, could be you and your family wanting to reach something that you will all enjoy together. Maybe it was a trip that you guys wanted to go to. The hanged man here shows that um, it will be postponed. It will not be canceled at all. It will just be postponed. And you can see here, you guys are a little bit upset about that. You're so excited about this new beginning, this new move, this new nice thing, either that you've been promised or that you plan together. But there will be like a little bit of a um, delay in that. Other than that, you as a family, there's so much love between you all. You're very happy together. Uh, the communication between all of you is wonderful. So please don't worry about that. Sometimes some delays are for your own good. Uh, sometimes the universe delays things for us so that we can have it in the best way. So always remember that there's always a reason for something. Right, now when it comes to the area of relationships, I would say if you are single, it looks like there is a door opening up here. So future and relationships, it doesn't mean that you will be getting necessarily into a relationship in the third quarter, but it seems like you could potentially be meeting the right person in the third quarter um, and this will lead to in the future you two forming a beautiful connection together let me see what your tarot cards have to say about this specific part okay so can we kindly get more information for pile number one with regards to the relationships part of the reading by the way if you're already in a committed relationship perhaps this is a significant connection that you will be building in your life so yeah i would say this is your reading as well so please take it how it resonates for you all right so you have the justice card the high priestess the two of swords as well as the six of wands. This is awesome. And this one started moving, so I'm gonna take that as well. And you've got the three of wands. So high priestess obviously defi definitely tells us that there is more to come with regards to this person that you're meeting. So you're not gonna find everything about how significant this person is in your life in the third quarter. You might find out later. But this is with the three of wands. Things are going to jumpstart between the two of you instantly. So at least you'll form a really tight connection uh, that will grow by time. Uh, see, two cards are showing that you don't see what's coming here with this person. High Priestess, Two of Swords. So it's obviously starting off as a really great friendship. I, I feel with the three of wands, you guys will hit it off right away. Um... Maybe you'll have a lot to talk about. Maybe this person's so exciting and you're exciting to them. Uh, I think with the three of wands, you're going to embark on a lot of adventures together. Perhaps this is what's taking us to the travel part in a moment because the three of wands is uh, one of the meanings of the three of wands is travel. Uh, and you've got the sea here as well. So perhaps there are so many things that you don't see coming that you're going to be doing with this person. Um, the Six of Wands shows that um, you're really going to feel like the Six of Wands is a card of winning, but it's also a card of popularity, by the way. So I think, let me, let me reflect first. Which one is it? Well, it does say here North Pole. So again, we're getting a location. Perhaps this is tied to the travel here, by the way which we'll talk about in a moment. Now I really think you and your, the, your friend, will call this person your friend until they become something more significant later on, like maybe you'll build a partnership with them, maybe they're gonna be uh, your future spouse, who knows? <laughs> but what I'm seeing here is that there is a move. And 
either you will be moving to their location or they will be moving to your location. In any case, one of you will be moving to the other and the other is popular where they are. Do you see? So let's say you're meeting a person. They say, hey, I invite you to come see my city, my state, my town, my country. Um, and you guys plan it together. Together, It's so much fun. You go there and you realize that this person is actually pretty popular uh, in this place. And it's very significant because it seems with relationships, plural S, not only will you have a good connection with this person, but it seems that you will also be meeting so many people as a result of your connection with this person. Very quickly, it will start to feel like home and the justice card shows us that this connection is destined. Uh, you are both destined to meet in this third quarter. I also see in the justice card, which is a card of cause and effect. I am getting this intuitive feeling that you will be doing something together that will grow by time. So the things that you're starting to do as activities together, maybe you getting to know each other. There's something that you both do that by time will grow something wonderful for the two of you. So please take it how it resonates uh, for you, whether it's actually a relationship or a friendship or a an awesome connection that you will be building in the future. Right, so now this definitely takes us to travel. We do have a perspective that you will be traveling in the third quarter, you can see it here. And, and this is like a huge one um, because it's in conjunction to wish fulfillment. So you're going to a place that you've always wanted to visit. Perhaps this is what we've seen here. I think this, these two are definitely connected because there is some travel going on. So you're going somewhere that you always wanted to go to. Um, you love going to that place. Something will kick off. Do you see? Something will kick off due to that travel trip. And I think for some of you, this travel trip will lead to a wish fulfillment or that it is a wish fulfillment for you to travel. This kick off up, it could be like even air travel. Some of you will be traveling with the airplane. And some of you by sea, because we did see the sea here. But something super important to you that you're wishing for will definitely kick off due to that travel trip. Okay, let's get more clarity on that. That's so exciting. <laughs> So can we kindly get more information for pile number one, please, on what we're seeing in terms of travel and wish fulfillment, please? Right. So you've got the seven of swords. The star card. Wow, this is something that you uh, totally wish fulfillment here. That's for sure. King of chocolate pentacles. <laughs> Remember when we said you and your family wanted to go somewhere and it was postponed? Remember there was a castle on a tree. So maybe something's going to be like postponed for a month and then you get to travel. Perhaps if this resonated with you in terms of travel. So you've got the king of pentacles. You've got the page of swords. So what are we seeing here? Something's been tricky here. And it seems like you really wanted to go to this place for a long time. Let's say it's, it's Disney, right? For example, you keep going. You keep planning for it and then every time something gets postponed and you don't go. And so it was really tricky for some reason or the other trying to go to this location in the past. I see that you're finally going to have this dream fulfilled in this quarter. You're finally going to love um, the fact that you get to go. And you know the King of Pentacles 
is a card of stability. So I'm starting to feel like a lot of you will not just be traveling there for like a short vacation, which is a picnic here. Some of you, surprisingly, may end up living there. It's kind of like going to a location, falling in love with it, dreaming to be there, to stay there, and actually taking solid steps with the Page of Swords, trying to figure it out, planning things properly, asking questions, seeing what needs to get done, researching to see all the different possibilities to make this happen. And I see you climbing. I see you making it happen. Uh, and um, some of you are actually going to stay in this new location. Okay, before we move on to the next part, since this is a big move here, uh, sh let's get some guidance. What's your guidance here to be careful since it's a bit tricky? You've got the full card. You've got togetherness, so nice. It's an extra card in this deck. And you've got the Hierophant. Your guidance is follow your heart. Do Your soul is calling you to move there because this is where it's guiding you to go. So jump into it. Uh, don't think much about it. But of course, with the Hierophant, as you go, have like uh, the um, capability to learn what's needed, uh, what you want, what you should do, what's right, what's wrong. What are the exact official papers with the Hierophant as well that is needed uh, to make things right? But all in all, you are staying together with some people here, togetherness. I think it's the people that we saw uh, in the previous part of your reading. Uh, and I feel like you're just going to jump into it. You're going to find an awesome community that you will love. And uh, yeah, uh, just take it as you go and learn well as you go along. You can see, you can see Pooh and Piglet as well here learning uh, with each step. It's kind of like follow the instructions and you shall be fine, and especially safe together. And you've, you'll be perhaps meet, meeting people from the city or locals that will help you settle in well. So that's so nice to see. Or maybe this is you and your family and you will really have fun together and you will follow the instructions and perhaps this is talking about how you're studying to actually settle in. Okay, so the last thing that I'm seeing for the, for the third quarter for you guys is commitment here. That's why the Page of Pentacles came up, because this is like a new page all round <laughs> for you, my dear pile number one. Here's the thing. You're committing to something new in the third quarter. And you see this figure is reaching for something higher. Hold on. Can you see it? Yeah, this figure is reaching for something higher. So it makes me feel like you're reaching beyond what you thought you could get. Not only that, not only are you getting something beyond what you wanted, but you're also committed to it. So this could be perhaps like a new exciting job that you never thought uh, you can have, but now it's your job and you're committed to it. So as always, let's find out what it is that you are committing to in the third quarter. Your reading, I must say, is so exciting. It's full of activities, <laughs> full of changes, even in how you look and uh, going to different places. I love your reading, my dear pal number one. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it is that you are committed to. You've got the Empress. The Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, as well as the Justice card. I think I need one more card. The Chariot. So what are you committed to in this next quarter? Oh, this one came out, the Knight of Swords. Something in your life is making you feel so stuck. 
and look, I think the change must be in this different country because this is what we've established from the very beginning, this new location. So in any case, I feel like you, yeah, something in your life at the moment is making you feel very stuck. I feel like to the point of you feeling hopeless, can this ever change in my life? Will I be in this position for always? Will I ever get the chance to get out of this? And with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like it's the same cycle over and over and over and it's not ending and you don't know what to do. You can see with the Empress, there is a rebirth in this specific situation. One that is very fortunate for you. And so where you were at the lowest here feeling stuck, the Wheel of Fortune moves to your favor, taking you far up. And thus the movement that we're seeing here. We're take, it's taking you far up where you get to now enjoy something and move forward. So the movement here is very opposite to feeling stuck. I feel like now you get to find balance in your life. You're not so stuck anymore. Things are changing. Many things in your life are changing, leading to you having great movement in this exact thing you were stuck in. And finally, you're finding balance. The Justice card, this one specifically, talks about how you worked hard. Perhaps you didn't get results before. And now you're starting to finally getting a lot of results, ones that you were not expecting. So what is the Eight of Swords signifying? Let's take the Knight of Swords first because it's a card that came out for you. But what is the Eight of Swords signifying? The Hermit. You were stuck alone trying to do something on your own. And the World card. And you were reaching an, near an end. You were like... If I stay stuck like this for long, I don't think I can go on. And this community that you're meeting, these relationships are really changing your life in a very drastic way. That's why you have change. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, this community is really changing up your life in so many ways because it's enlightening you. Here, the Eight of Swords has to do with the mind. You thought you were stuck because that's the only thing you saw. Meeting this community, they get to show you other ways in which you can get the things that you want to get. And thus, you're not stuck in this place anymore. And that this is why you have the chariot here. You're moving on and as a consequence, you're committing to something new. This time you're committing to something that you can, you would have not imagined because it's far beyond what you ever imagined. Perhaps this is why there's a launch of something here or some great excitement. Something is kicking off, is starting for you um, as a result of this move and you will be committing to something new that you never expected that you are so excited about every day and you're no longer in that stuck energy. And my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see in detail <laughs> as to what's going on for you in the third quarter of 2024. I really hope you've enjoyed your reading. I certainly enjoyed doing it for you very much. Your reading was so exciting. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your quarter. And if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at what to expect in the third quarter of your 2024. Can't wait to get into it, as you, you can see on the right. I do have a board full of different areas of your life in which we, we will be in a moment casting these story cubes on to get specific details on what sort of energies and what areas of your life you can... Uh, expect changes or things to happen in your third quarter. And then we'll be clarifying 
uh, every part of it using your tarot cards whenever we need to. But very quickly, let me introduce your pile to you. Your crystal is the beautiful white how light. And of course, if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. Just a quick disclaimer with that. All right, so let's start casting your story cubes and see what you can expect to happen in your third quarter. My dear pile number two. One, two, three. All right. So I'm seeing a lot of things. You know how they say um, uh, your dirty laundry? What is it called? Don't air your, your dirty laundry. Except here, um, it is clean. Can you see your... Except here, it is clean. So in discovery, it looks like in the third quarter you are discovering something or actually other people are discovering some great things that you've done. We did establish that this is clean. So I feel like maybe your work is going to go, for example, that doesn't have to be your work at all. Um, clean perhaps means that somebody thought something bad about you but the truth will be discovered. Oh, so maybe someone you had someone saying bad things about you previously. In the third quarter, you might find that others start discovering that what someone else or other people aired out uh, was in fact clean and not as bad as they presented you to be. That seems to be very significant to your quarter, very important. So let's pull out your cards and get some more information about this specific part for pile number two, please. So you've got the five of cups. Yeah. Mm. You've got, wow, the star card. This is really cool. You've got the eight of cups, the seven of pentacles, and you've got the page of swords. Really cool. So here with the Five of Cups, it seems like somebody really disappointed you previously. We understand from your board, they've aired out some, some dirty laundry that was not good. They've lied about you. Here with the Star card, it seems like um, in the third quarter, you're standing out the Star card, this popularity. You're becoming very popular amongst the very people who one day believed these things. Maybe they didn't know you well believe these things that were said about about you so you're moving from that energy to this energy and eight of cups it seems like many many one person after the other after the other after the other many people are walking away from that person that spoke badly about you uh, and with the seven of pentacles and the page of swords this means that people are opening a new page with you they're seeing you with new eyes they have an open mind to see who you are and with the seven of pentacles they're taking their time to get to know you from the beginning to genuinely get to know who you are uh, from the source itself which is you and your your popularity is rising within this group of people if this has happened to you i'm very sorry about that my dear pile number one having others speak badly about others and lying about them is certainly really uh, really bad so i'm really sorry you had to go through this but it, it seems like in the third quarter things are really clearing out in that department another thing i'm seeing is really interesting here with the body right next to it is this eating cube and I don't usually take the cubes that are out unless they're drawing my attention in some way. And eating and the body are absolutely connected. It makes me feel like as if this cube has been pushed out. And so to me, this means that you are pushing out perhaps some cravings in the third quarter. Uh, it doesn't have to be food. It could be bad habits that affect the body. Uh, so maybe things like 
um, a smoking, eat, uh, not eating junk food, uh, maybe um, lack of activity and exercise. <clears throat> so you're changing very important habits that will have a good effect on your body. You're pushing out in the third quarter and any specifically for most of you, bad eating habits or things maybe that you know aren't good for you that you wanted to change. And now you're pushing that out. You're being very disciplined is the right word here in the third quarter. Okay, so another thing here is you've got family and love. You've got this person falling down, which makes me feel that for some of you, of course, if it resonates, for some of you, it could be falling in love. If you're single and you're open to that energy, uh, then I would say you might start falling in love with someone in this quarter. <laughs> uh, if this doesn't resonate with you, Maybe you're already in a relationship or you're not interested in love at all. Um, I would say you're meeting somebody who you will love. Yeah. Uh, in your case, I would say you're meeting someone who you will really love in this quarter. And so much so that you would will consider them as family. So that's another very significant energy going on in the third quarter. And, you know, also the first... Uh, um, energy I've mentioned holds true. You are falling in love in this third quarter and this person will be so dear to you that it will start feeling like family, like home. Um, they will start feeling familiar to you, even if they're a friend. So please take it how it resonates. But there's a lot of love going back and forth between you and another human being. Um, you will cherish each other. You will love each other more and more every day and you will very soon start to feel and consider each and treat each other like family so yeah i would say a very significant connection relationship uh, of some sort is happening for you in the third quarter so what's going on here this is goals hmm not quite sure. Let's find out using your tarot card. I'll shuffle these and come back. Okay, so can we kindly get more clarity on the goals part of pile number two's reading, please? Right. So, you have the Knight of Swords. You're pursuing something. You have the temperance card. Ooh, it's changing forms. So that's good news. It's starting to work out. Right. Then you have the magician. Oi. You have the knight of cups. I love this for you. <laughs> and you've got the nine of pentacles. I, I think this is you crying out of happiness. You know that? That's definitely there. It's like you being absolutely shocked, perhaps even flabbergasted, going, what <laughs> kind of thing? What? Is this even possible? So I would say congratulations, my dear pile number two. In the third quarter of this year, you had a goal that you wanted to achieve this year. Maybe you thought, oh, it's going to take some time for this goal to happen. I'm just going to start out, do my best. I'm going to take the necessary steps and actions and let's see how it goes. <laughs> I would say that with the Knight of Swords, it starts moving very quickly, much quicker than you ever thought. And with a Temperance card, you can see things are already happening back and forth, back and forth. Things are cha changing forms very quickly. With regards to this goal, you open your eyes and go, whoa, you're seeing things changing right in front of your eyes. Changing forms again. The idea of something started maybe from small and it's already flourishing and flying and you can't believe just how many, how much change is happening within a short span of time in a time frame that you did not expect. The Knight of Cups shows how you're going to love um, the news that you can see because with the Knight of Pentacles, 
This is a wish fulfillment card. You're getting what you wished and hoped for come true. So I see you in the third quarter going, what? I never thought, uh, first of all, that this dream would like actually come true. I mean, it's a goal. I wanted it to come true, but I can't believe it's actually there. And not only that, but for it to even happen quickly. And so you're really shocked. <laughs> I love this for you, my dear pile number two. It's always lovely to see one's goal coming true. Um, you should be really proud of yourself for working hard. So if you're doing something, continue to go with it. You're going to be proud with the results that you'll see. You'll be really happy with that. All right. Now, also, you can see you'll be hearing some great news um, when it comes to your finances because it's between luck and finances. You can hear something with the headphones. So maybe there's communication that you will find to be super lucky. Maybe somebody's going to tell you about something or someone is offering you something like, hey, we would love to work with you. Um, and then you hear about the salary and you love it. Or maybe, hey, would you like to get into this investment? You know, it brings a lot of money. It brings You can get this by then and so on. So it's going to be a great opportunity full of luck. I mean, it's the kind of thing that not a lot of people get to have, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's bringing you a lot of money in the third quarter. Let's explore more here. I'll shuffle your deck and I'll be back. So let's ask. Oh, thanks. Can we kindly get more information for pile number two, please, regarding their financial part of this reading? Thank you so much. Okay, so you have the six of pentacles. That's the card of being given generously. Tower is a card of surprise. I mean, um, here in this context, this means surprise. So you will be getting a lot of money. The scales, the specific focus on the scales reminds me of justice, I would say, legally. So maybe these are returns for stocks, maybe, that you weren't expecting. I think so. For some of you with luck and finances, maybe you've invested in something, forgot about it, and bam, hello, um, you're getting a lot of money because this investment worked out or something. <laughs> so, or maybe uh, at least you'll be signing a contract um, and you're getting uh, a bigger salary or something. So that's definitely coming as a surprise. You have the lover's card. <laughs> you have the six of swords. The five of cups. The ten of wands. And the three of wands. I feel with the lover's card here is that you are getting money from somebody who really loves your work, if this is work, or really loved your offer or your art piece, perhaps. Talent with the water. And the reason they're choosing to offer you this money is because your service... I guess your service, your talent, uh, your art, whatever it is, is really help them transition through disappointment. So um, maybe it's an art piece that spoke to them, that made them connect with their mother that passed away, or it's a company that's looking for someone specifically like you who's talented and can help them transition from this disappointing situation or the loss with the five of cups that they've gone through and maybe just maybe it's a hit of luck of you choosing to help someone that is in a critical situation an urgent situation that's falling losing something and you help them to easily and lovingly tr transition past it move to calmer 
waters. And so you're moving this person from heaviness, this person, this company, from heaviness to being able to function again with the Three of Wands, to be able to wander again, to be able to enjoy life again. Um, and so with that, they will truly appreciate what you're doing or your talent or what you're capable of doing and they will be giving generously to you. And so this is money coming from extreme appreciation from someone who admires what you are capable of doing. All right, so that's so lovely to see for you, my dear pilot number two. Here, there is a fun surprise. Look at that, there is a surprise coming. I don't think your tarot cards will tell us what it is, but do expect a surprise that you will fi find to be so much fun in the third quarter. I know a surprise is a surprise, but at least <laughs> let's get some some allowed clues um, on what this could be. I'm, we're not asking for what you're not supposed to know. We're going to be taking a look at what you're allowed to know about it. You know, just the hints when you ask someone, can I get some little hints about the surprise <laughs> kind of thing. So let me shuffle your deck and I'll be back. All right, so let's find out any information we can get or we're allowed to get about this surprise, please. You've got the Justice card, the Queen of Swords, the Magician, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Oh my God, with the Seven of Cups, I can tell you that this is beyond your wild imagination. <laughs> it's coming with the justice cards, see, especially weighing the heart with the feather. This is coming as a result of your good karma. You can see that with the justice card and the queen of swords. You've done something honest. Um, you've done the right thing. Um, you were there to help someone selflessly. Uh, or a group of people or something, or you've done something so honest, so good, and as, as a result of this karma, you will not believe your eyes. Something of, ma of a materialistic, something that is materialistic in nature with the King of Pentacles is going to manifest for you. And the clue here, the one, the, these are the sort of things you're allowed to know. One important thing about this is it's beyond what you ever imagined. <laughs> you will love this with the heart chakra ribbon here. Uh, and with the crown chakra, it's something that you won't guess. So don't even try to. <laughs> um, I mean, with the crown chakra and the, th and the third eye, maybe you've envisioned it before. Mm, or perhaps thought it was a wild dream before or something but never would you expect it in real life kind of energy for sure so yeah you're gonna see perhaps something that you saw um, and envisioned as a wild dream before but never would you have thought that it would actually come true in real life <laughs> so i love this for you my dear pile number um, two, finally, here, you can see commitment. I would say, remember, so it could be different things, but one of them could be that lover that you will commit to. I'm, I'm referring to this person because remember when we said falling and here you've got a ball falling. So it still reminds me of falling in love. And you might be surprised that not only do you fall in love with someone who feels like family, but also you, you feel like now you're committed to someone. You're in a com you and someone are committed to each other. You're, not com you're in a committed relationship. But again, that's if it's love. It could really be something else. Maybe it's that work that you are being offered with great money uh, and you find yourself not expecting it. So you see the hand's supposed to receive one thing and it's receiving another. So maybe you were expecting to go in one direction in your work or when it comes to making money and 
a totally different one out of great luck comes. This, is, this looks like it's going to be a wonderful quarter for you. <laughs> Many great, fun, lucky things, sporadic, funny things. This is really like the sort of serendipitous reading. Like if someone aired some bad things about you, it's you're getting uh, your rights back or your um, reputation back this quarter. Uh, you're meeting someone or a wonderful friend who's going to be great family, great luck and finances, a goal coming true that you didn't expect. Like, what is this reading? A surprise beyond your dreams. Like, this is a combo of any sort of idea that could come through the tarot cards in readings. Or perhaps you've been hearing so many things and they're all coming for you in this quarter. I don't know, but this is really good. <laughs> so let's finally check out this commitment, what are you going to be committed to in the uh, third quarter? Let's find out. So you've got the Knight of Wands. The Eight of Cups. The King of Pentacles. The Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, you're going to be tied to something new for sure. So tied to something new is commitment. It makes sense. Mm. Knight of Wands definitely gives off love someone who's pursuing you, someone who's highly attracted to you. Um, and that could be the relationship uh, aspect uh, of this commitment part. It could be for some of you, surprisingly, I would have never seen this, but because of your tarot cards, some of you dropping a commitment that you're not expecting. So if that case, what are you dropping? What are you dropping? The Knight of Swords and the Hermit. For some of you, this is something you highly sought after, sought after with the Knight of Swords, but then decided to take yourself away from it uh, with the Hermit card. So I would guess for some of you, this is... Um, like being committed to a specific job and um, it was so important to you at some point and then you're like hey i could start doing something for myself or maybe i i can leave and look for something better so yeah you were pursuing something and then realizing hey why am i pursuing this in fact they're smiling it's so cute <laughs> you might be very happy to leave this prior commitment because the King of Pentacles here explains that you will be fulfilled in a much bigger way and the Three of Wands somewhere else. So you will be tied to something else. That See the blue, you're moving towards something else. You're being tied to something else. Even those on their own uh, means you're leaving to commit to something better. You're moving towards something that will give you great abundance. So yeah, these are the two things I'm seeing. Love and leaving something you were pursuing. For some of you, you could be leaving a, a goal, a specific goal that you were going after. And then realized, ah, it's not bringing me the fulfillment that I was looking for. Actually, I'm very happy to let go of it, um, to drop this commitment. Don't like it anymore. Yeah, I think if you're leaving that commitment with a smile here, you're, you're loving the fact that you're leaving this commitment. Um, and for some of you, it's like... Um, being committed to a new job that pays you so well or being committed to something that yeah moves you forward quickly and brings you a lot of material abundance and you're very happy to be committed to this new thing. So this is what I see with the commitment part of your reading here. 
and usually I don't read the little um, stories on the side, but since we read this one, I, I really feel called to reading these two for you. Uh, uh, another thing you can expect in the third quarter is you digging yourself out of a problem, out of a hole. Maybe you were stuck in a situation you didn't like. I see you in the third quarter, working hard to take yourself out of it fully. And you will be catching a great opportunity also in the um, third quarter with the Four of Pentacles that will allow you to amass something that you wanted. What is it? Four of Cups. Three of Cups. And four, three, four. Wow. And Four of Swords. Mm. Actually, what you're catching here is a lot of help and support from others, uh, which is something that you didn't expect at all. Uh, Three of Cups shows that there is a community that loves you, uh, like family, a group of friends who want to help you out, anything of that nature. And so they're like, hey, we see... Uh, pile number two, really trying to take themselves out of the situation. We would love to share each one, give you uh, something to support you in your endeavor to take yourself out of the situation. And this type of support will help release you from the suffering and will give you peace of mind with the Four of Swords. So that's why you're amassing with the Four of Pentacles. You're saving money or saving some help, depending on what this is, because you've got people who want to share a little bit of what they have. And as a collective, it does turn out to be a huge amount of whatever this resource is that you need. And my dear pile number two, th these are all the different energies that I see happening for you in the third quarter, you never know. Maybe this is the community that once thought like bad things about you. And now that they're getting to know you, they love you and want to support you. Just a wild guess, it may not be related. But yeah, you've got wonderful things going on in your third quarter. I wish you the best of luck with that, my dear pile number two. May you always have wonderful quarters. <laughs> this was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful green jasper. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in this case, the signs for this pile are Capricorn, Gemini, and Pisces. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. As I always remind you guys, it's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. So today we're taking a look at your third quarter predictions for the, 20, for the year 2024. The way we're going to be doing this is using this board with different areas in your life. And in a moment, we'll be casting uh, story cubes onto this board to get some details on what you can expect uh, this quarter, then this next quarter. And then if, need, if we need to, we'll be clarifying each section through your tarot cards. I hope you enjoy your reading. And my dear pile number three, let's get straight into it. So what can pile number three expect in their third quarter of 2024 please one two and three. Ooh, okay so here in the love section we see someone pointing at something at some at someone or something we've got a, uh, a cube in the section of resolution we've got in wish fulfillment in fun and in the place of power. I, I, I see like I see these two being very close to these boxes. So I'm going to put past and commitment into consideration. Right. So let's take first things first. You've got uh, love here. And we're going to be, of course, reading this in terms of whether you're single 
and um, if you are in a relationship. If you are single, it's it looks like you've caught somebody's eye here. Someone has an eye on you specifically. Someone really likes you. It may lead to something more in the future. We'll find out in your cards in a moment. But if you are already in a relationship or um, if you are not interested in love whatsoever, this may mean that uh, you will experience someone who's attracted to you. It seems like it's something significant that's going to happen in the third quarter, whether you want to engage in it or not. Let's read the cards this way. We'll understand and, uh, what's going on and you can make your choice of whether you want to be with this person or not. Maybe even if you're single, you may, you may not like this person and you may like them. So let's see what this energy is. You've got the Queen of Wands, sorry, absolutely, very fitting. You've got the Page of Pentacles. Seeing the Queen and the Page, it seems right off the bat that you are perceived to them, that you are absolutely out of their league. Um, you've got the Six of Wands. And you've got the Four of Cups. Okay, so this is what's going on. Uh, you can see with the Queen of Wands, someone's, someone can see you being very attractive, very charismatic, very strong. Your energy is something that they feel and uh, they're highly attracted to you. You can see with the Page of Pentacles here in conjunction with the Queen of Wands as explained. They definitely feel like you are you are out of their league, uh, but nonetheless, they feel like they have the courage or they want to uh, pursue you. So you can see here that they will actually follow this idea, by the way. <laughs> and this is like a heads up in case you don't want someone to do that, just so you know, they will follow through with the Six of Wands. They will feel... Although that um, they may not be, in their minds at least, their understanding, they may not be on the same league. They feel like they want this very much and they feel confident about it. And they will surprise you with the Four of Cups and ask you out or maybe ask to be your friend. There is, there are, they are very bold. This is a very bold person. <laughs> and they feel like, uh, you can see through the cards that this is a person who's sure about who they like. They, they're they sure they like you. They're confident. They are excited about it. And so it looks like in the next quarter, not only will they have their eyes on you, perhaps the pointing, they will ask you out as well. So yeah, that's a heads up, <laughs> my dear pile number three. Let's light your candle. That is better. All right. So you've got a wish fulfillment here in the third quarter. And what is that? Ooh, this looks like someone who was thinking about something. So let me change the candle. But this definitely means that you were envisioning something before. It was only something that you had in mind. I don't know if you um, um, expected it to come uh, to life. Perhaps you've envis envisioned it to the point where you actually manifested it. So that is something that's happening for you in the third quarter. Let's use your tarot cards. I will shuffle them and find out what this wish is. At least more information about uh, this wish. All right. So can we kindly get more information for pile number three, please? about their wish fulfillment in this third quarter, please. So you've got the chariot. You have the 10 of wands. You've got the six of pentacles. I think you're gonna get an opportunity. And that's is that came up with the six of pentacles, like being given something. You have the magician. Let's pull out this card at the end. Ooh, you've got the Nine of Cups. Yeah, it is a wish fulfillment, exactly. 
and you've got the six of wands gosh i love this for you so this wish is coming to save you at the right time because with the ten of wands it seems like you are carrying a heavy load you're so tired and you're near the end of something you you're about to drop everything kind of energy and so in the nick of time i see with the six of pentacles you're getting an assistance you're getting an opportunity that is assisting you in the situation the chariot shows that you will be leaving all of this you will in fact drop this it seems because it's not your business so to speak anymore whatever this is and you are moving in the direction of your dreams with a nine of cups so wish fulfillment here has to do with your wish specifically in regards to a situation that you're tired of that you can't handle anymore and this is why you have this this is kind of like a person who's daydreaming um daydreaming of something you know how when you are in a situation that you don't like like in class and dreaming of a vacation or in the office uh, or and dreaming about uh, a life that you or a job that you would love so this shows me that what you've been envisioning you didn't mean to manifest but you've wished it so hard uh, kind of energy it's like you've envisioned it so well and it's showing up uh, you will drop the heaviness you will get an opportunity to move that to which that you were envisioning one day um, during a time where you didn't have much in your hands to do and it is a magical experience with the magician card uh, oh in fact the magician card is a card of as within so without this definitely confirms how you've manifested this for yourself you've envisioned it inside your head so many times and played it out so many times this is kind of the energy of i'm so tired i wish this would happen to me or um i can't take the situation anymore i wish this would happen to me and this is why you have the six of wands the six of wands is the card of victory and success you succeeded uh, to and victor you've succeeded to come out of this heaviness and you were victorious uh, leaving without having to deal with it any longer six six could mean that for some of you it could happen towards the end of june i know we're doing a reading about the third quarter but maybe some communication could happen or you might hear some good news and that will be the beginning uh, of the trail of how this is going to happen in your life. But your world is about to change significantly due to this wish that you've been envisioning in your head over and over. So happy to see this for you, my dear pile number three. It's always awesome to see you guys coming out of a difficulty that you can't handle anymore. Uh, and let's uh, take a look at the third part here you've got power and with power you have someone who's receiving a surprise and wondering what it is now these this definitely requires your tarot cards <laughs> but if i were to guess i would say maybe along with this surprise the wish fulfillment there is a new type of power that is unlocked that you get to use in your life like for example let's say your wish fulfillment is so that's the second time the doorbell rings i think these two are related you're getting a new type of power as a result of this wish fulfillment happening but in any case let's get more information about what this sort of power is i know it's a surprise we're not going to know everything but we can get an idea as much as you're allowed. So you've got the seven of pentacles, the seven of wands, oh, the queen of swords, that is a huge power for sure, and you've got three more cards here. 
the Ace of Wands, power, power, power for sure. The Devil card and the Four of Cups. This sort of power with the Devil card right next to it, if, no, if not used right, it can be like a form of corruption. But if used right with the Queen of Swords, you can build something great with it and you can even as a great source of use it as a great source of advantage against challenges that are with the devil card that may not be good so <clears throat> it's kind of like these challenge if one of these people who are against this building and things getting better uh, holds that power they will definitely not be building and they will be using it for the bad. It's almost as if they're joining forces with the people that are creating this challenge. But if it falls in the right hands, then this power is used in its right way. It allows you to build something useful, build something good. Uh, so I feel like this power that is being presented to you is not given to you by coincidence. I feel like it's presented to you knowing that you are the right candidate who's not going to be one of the ones that stands and blocks the way uh, for this growth to happen. So yeah, that's the kind of energy I'm seeing with this power. If your wish is related to work, then you're the right person for the right position. If this is related to your wish to always do good and serve your community, uh, then yeah, it has to do with that. You having the power to be able to serve and help your community in the right way uh, and to stand up strong against the wrong doers, so to speak. So yeah, a new form of power given to the deserved one uh, is happening for you next month okay let's take a look now at the resolution part of your reading you can see that someone is hearing some good news uh, and so to me i would say if you had some issues with someone or some issues in any specific situation it doesn't have to be with a person i would say in this next quarter, you are hearing some great news that you will love and enjoy pertaining to that matter because it seems like this issue is going to be resolved with this piece of news. So really happy to see that for you. Let's get more information about this issue and how it's going to be resol resolved, what type of news you will be hearing with regards to it. In this next quarter, it seems like it's very significant for you here. You've got the King of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Wow, this is like uh, people in power. For some of you, this could be the government. And um, if this is related to your work, then maybe like the board is meeting to discuss a specific issue that's affecting everyone, maybe. You've got the Nine of Cups again. Guy, guys, the amounts of wishes coming true for you in this quarter is huge. There are big wishes and there are also small wishes but are important to our everyday life. Kind of like big wishes are things that you're envisioning and wish would happen one day. Small wishes are like there is this bump in the road that keeps um, ruining your car every single day and you wish you know, the governor would fix it. And that's a small wish coming true. They would finally fix it and you don't have to deal with the situation anymore. Uh, you know, things like your company um, giving you your salary much later than the usual. They're supposed to give it to you on the first. They keep giving it to you on the sixth and they're like, we're good. We're solving this problem. We don't know what's going to happen. Why? Why it's happening? So there are big wishes and there are small wishes. You definitely have a huge one coming true. And also throughout your reading, we're seeing uh, small wishes 
but that but are ones that are significant in your life that are coming true so we see a resolution here maybe with some form of authority you've got the six of wands let's get some more clarification on this the ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune wow you're going to be very fortunate in this situation because with the ace of pentacles in conjunction to the king of pentacles i'm kind of seeing differences in power someone fortunate but their power is much smaller than something that um, is much more fortunate or something much bigger so yeah government company governorate something like that um it seems like you used to have an issue with your building with the as all the examples that we've just uh, gone through and this is the quarter where this is going to be resolved. Big, major decisions are going to be made and major actions are going to be taken. And you're going to feel so happy about this. Uh, you're going to feel uh, like um, you're winning this with the Six of Wands. You probably talked about this several times uh, since you've got the Six of Wands. And so the Wheels of Fortune is turning to your favor, giving me an idea that you actually did discuss this maybe some of you are in a court of law and that's another thing that I, that could be happening and so in that case it is uh, um, the ruling is for you Um yeah you did complain a lot and you're winning this actions are going to be taken and there's a new beginning in this situation so that's another thing think of something that uh, you wanted re to resolve for a while in your life. And that's what the reading is talking about here. Now you're here, you'll also be hearing some good news about something that you consider is a lot of fun. So maybe like uh, you'll be hearing from a friend that you haven't heard from for a long time and you guys go out, catch up for coffee, talk and you know, tell thing, tell each other things about all the fun things that uh, you've missed out on. <laughs> so that's another thing. Maybe some of you are like going back home. Um, maybe you'll be hearing some good news. Your partner, your family, your friends are telling you that um, you're going to go with a trip. You're going to go to a trip with them. And that sounds like so much fun. You can't wait to go to that trip. Maybe even your work. So yeah, definitely. You're definitely hearing some good news relating to some something that is a lot of fun for you. Let's explore that. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is um, in your work with the Eight of... Uh, sorry, this is the Eight of Cups. My apologies. All right, Eight of Cups, going, returning, maybe sometimes it's returning. So some of you are returning back home. You've got the Emperor. Emperor is also the four, the home. Yeah, so that energy is very strong. Some of you are going back home and it feels um, very exciting. Or going back to a place you called home. You've got the Two of Pentacles. You have the star card. Oh, I gotta be careful with the YouTube rules. So you've got the star card and you have the two of swords. So many twos here and so many decisions to be made. Hmm. Star card, again, this is a major dream, by the way. For some of you, this fun that you will be hearing about is something that, again, this, as this theme with your reading so many things that you're you hoped for are coming true for you in this quarter so this is a sort of fun thing you've always wished to do maybe you've wished to travel to another country for some of you this will come true maybe you've always wished to visit something that is true coming true um Maybe you've wished to have a certain experience. You've always wanted to have a certain experience. That is coming true for you. But with that comes some big decision with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So much so 
that it could feel a little bit debilitating. You're not sure whether you should take this decision or not. And if I were to look at your chart here to get some guesses, this chart is looking at the commitment part and the past, which we've seen, like you dropped something in the past, you were committed to something heavy. So this could be a decision that you have to make because it could involve someone or something from the past, maybe that you don't want to see anymore. So it could be a bit of a pickle here for you. Um, let's see what you're going to decide to do. Or what is your guidance? What is your guidance on what to do with this tough decision? Because it seems like it's a lot of fun, but maybe somebody from your past that you don't want to see could be coming or you have to deal with something, some form of commitment that you dropped in the past and you're not interested in doing it anymore. Maybe you vowed not to go through, not to run a specific errand or do something anymore. And now you have to like deal with it. Uh, uh, you know, maybe you're like, I'm not going to deal with any official paper. Now you have to deal with it. Something like that. So what is your guidance here for when this uh, appears in your life? You've got the nine of swords and the eight of wands. Ah, do you see how the nine of swords are lining up? And it, they're kind of moving with the eight of wands. It kind of makes me feel, don't be so frozen because it is your stress and your worry that is standing in your own way. If you have something that needs to get done with the Eight of Wands, go ahead, get it done, get it over with quickly and so that you don't have to deal with the situation anymore. It's kind of like a little pinch that you may not like. It's not something or someone that will be, for example, with you throughout this fun. Otherwise, it won't be fun and you wouldn't be going back and forth. But maybe before you begin this fun journey, um, you will have to deal with something that you that feels a little bit daunting. I feel like your guidance is don't get yourself stuck due to something small. Uh, go ahead with it. Deal with it. Um, so that you can go and enjoy your journey. I feel with the Eight of Cups, it's like movement. It For a lot of you, it could be a trip. A trip somewhere, either back to a home or a place that you feel feels like home, like a state or a city that you've lived in one day. Or maybe you're going somewhere that will feel like home a new place that you will go to that will feel like home. Another pile got something like this, a place that will feel like home. I'm not sure which pile, if it was the second or the first, but someone got something close to this idea as well. Finally, before we end your reading, I know I don't usually read the cubes uh, on the side, but I am seeing that this one is completely excluded. And so there's a whole lot of attention here with this paper being cut. I feel like you are cutting something or someone out of your life in this quarter. Like you're officially done with something here. It could be like uh, cutting your contract, an old deal as you go into a new one, which we saw here in the wish fulfillment. But let's get more clarity in case this is something else. Your cards will be able to show us if this is the same thing or not, I, I'm guessing. Or at least give us more clarity on what it is that you're cutting out of your life in the uh, third quarter. So what is pile number three cutting out of their lives in the third quarter, please? Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Clarification, please. Oh, thanks. The Four of Swords and <clears throat> the Five of Cups. What are you cutting out of your life? Uh, 
I see several things. <clears throat> For some of you with the Five of Cups, you're cutting someone out of your life that used to disappoint you a lot, caused a lot of heartache and pain for you. And <clears throat> you're deciding to do that because with the Four of Swords, this will bring you a lot of peace. Second thing I'm seeing is that you are cutting a very slow energy, moving energy in your life in favor of something that you would much love. In fact, this energy seems to be much more enjoyable for you that I see this cups as happy tears. I envision you getting happy tears um, that you get to have an opportunity to take yourself out of something that was burning you with the fire here, also burning you and it was slow moving. Maybe you had a lot of expectations for it and it's kind of like it's giving, yeah, but it's like giving to a minimum and giving with a lot of burning kind of energy. Last but not least, you are cutting something that was creating a lot of stress and anxiety in your life. And you are going to be fortunate enough to be able to cut that out of your life because with the Wheel of Fortune, the cycle is shifting. Maybe it's a shift in power, shift in dynamics or a fortunate event that happens in your life that allows you to no longer having to deal with this stress any longer and feeling uh, that the energy around you is changing. This time, with regards to this situation, you're going to feel very fortunate and you're going to feel the opposite energy of that, which is bliss, feeling relaxed and happy. And my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see in your reading as to what you can expect in your third quarter of 2024. I truly hope you've enjoyed your reading. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number four. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at your third quarter of the year 2024. Can't wait to get into your reading. As you can see, the way we're going to do this reading is cast some story cubes onto these different areas uh, on the chart here of your life, getting an accurate reading in the diverse different areas of your life. That's why I love to use this board during the quarter readings. And let me quickly introduce your pile to you. Your crystal is the beautiful green grass jasper. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Aries, Scorpio, and Virgo. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. So what we're going to do is read every story cube within its different section and we'll be clarifying each section if we need to using your tarot cards all right so let's get straight into it my dear pile number four this reading has been super fun for me to do and let's find out what you can expect in the quarter, third quarter of 2024 really interesting you've got uh, a lot of uh, cubes down there uh, you've got something between rescued and power you've got something in power and you've got another one in home right so these three areas you've got a lot of activities right there you've got something between wish fulfillment and fun and also another one in wish fulfillment so i love this for you such a beautiful um uh, it's such a beautiful box, this wish fulfillment, obviously. You've got some change going on in the third quarter, as well as you definitely reaching some wisdom, and you can see it in the story cube here. Okay, so let's get straight. Oh, I would say having this specific cube singled out, I do not see you in any way feeling sad about something this quarter. It seems like it's going to be a really fun quarter for you. So that's really nice to see. I think you're going to enjoy this quarter, my dear pile number four. All right. So the first thing 
uh, let's talk about change. It seems like a new opportunity is opening its doors for you in the third quarter and it is creating huge change in your life. Perhaps it is this change that is associated with the wish fulfillment and the fun, which is which are associated with each other right there. And uh, perhaps that change is connected to what you're rescuing, the power, new type of power that you will have in your life. And uh, something relating to home. Maybe you're landing a new home or moving to a new home. Let's find this, uh, all of this out together. First thing is we'll check out the change. I think this is a, a, our key to a lot of your reading. So let's find out what new opportunity is coming into your life and creating this huge change. Did I see a card? No, I didn't. I thought there was a card upside down. Uh, the other way around, I mean. Okay, seems like your cards have chosen themselves. <laughs> Let's check them out. What is this change, my dear pile number four? You've got the Ten of Pentacles. My goodness, love this already for you. <laughs> you have the Sun card. Oh my God, I love this. This is a positive quarter, obviously, for you, I think. Um, you're moving towards very favorable times of your life. That's why this has been singled out. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, the cards are just awesome. I love this for you. <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> You've got the Nine of Pentacles. I love this. You have the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> You've got the Page of Swords. And let's push this a little bit to the side. And you've got the Hierophant. The, the cards are out of this world. I would say with the Ten of Pentacles, you're manifesting a huge opportunity in the third quarter. One that you will be so happy about. I see, I see you being so excited with this opportunity. I feel here with the cards that the world just opened its arms to you. I see you feeling very excited, very positive. You see the queen of pentacles lives in the realm of her dreams that she has created for herself. And this is why you have the knight of pentacles and the page of swords and the hierophant showing me here uh, that you have worked. It, it took time with the knight of pentacles. You've built it step by step. This is like blood, sweat and tears kind of energy. You studied it really well. You were, you know, you were so detail oriented, um, and there was also a huge risk that you had to go through. And nonetheless, you did not hesitate. Uh, your your mind, your energy, your power, your dedication was all in. You were so committed. You took it step by step, which is exactly what the reading is showing. And you've reached the light at the end of this tunnel. This is the quarter uh, in which this hard work is going to manifest into the very opportunity that you were looking for, that you were hoping for. But Ten of Pentacles is more than what you expected. So I would say um, you were wishing to at least have something or, to ha or your wish wasn't as big as what you're receiving is what I'm trying to say. So you were like, oh, if I get that, that would be everything. That would be awesome. Uh, this would be my dream. A and you're not getting this because it's the same pentacle here. Do you see? You're getting something much, much, much bigger than what you've envisioned for yourself. <laughs> so this is a huge opportunity that you're getting. If this is your work, it doesn't have to be your work. It could be your studies, you know. Maybe you're getting better scores. You're getting something bigger here. Uh, if this is your work, whatever goal this is, you're uh, manifesting much bigger results uh, than you have expected. I see you finally sitting on your throne and going, ah, all the hard work that I worked towards has now manifest manifested for me and I get to live this reality. This reality is mine. <laughs> I love this for you, my dear pal number four. Obviously, this huge energy is changing so many things in your life. That's why it's here with change. Let's explore the changes together. I'm sure the other uh, boxes will give us a 
pers uh, like a deeper perspective on what this awesome change is. Let me shuffle your, your deck and I will be back. Okay, I'm thinking before we get to the huge fun part here, let's take a look at what you're discovering. What wisdom are you realizing and why is it so important that is displayed here in your third quarter? So it seems like you realize something um, significant in your life. Uh, maybe this is what led to change. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's find out together why this is significant. So you've got the Hierophant, the card of learning, obviously. <laughs> you have the King of Pentacles. Okay. You have the Empress. Wow. Okay. Um, you've got the Emperor. What's going on here? Wow. Like such big cards. Three major arcana already. Four. The Sun card. <laughs> This is a big deal. And you've got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups could be harmony, how to have harmony. Or it could be a relationship because you have the Empress and the Emperor. So please take it how it resonates. But you realize something so positive, so enlightening is the right thing I would say. That is giving you so much groundedness. It's making you feel like you're evolving as a person. Now, what you're discovering here seems to be something that allows you to have harmony within yourself and thus allowing you to have harmony with others. Others, for a lot of you, could be something pertaining to uh, relationships. Uh, romantic relationships specifically maybe you already have a partner in your life and you had a lot of issues together or maybe you tend to have a specific problem reoccurring problem or, or challenge over and over in relationships and it seems like there is a huge aha moment and it's starting within harmony within uh, being enlightened about something that is allowing you to have harmony without and this is so important because, again, it's giving you groundedness in your life and groundedness in being able to keep a loyal connection with others. And so this is a huge epiphany that you're reaching, one that will allow you to reach far in life. It's kind of like a limitation that wasn't allowing you to move further in many areas of your life. And so this is why this is a big deal, because due to this epiphany, you're finding a lot of harmony. Things are starting to move. Things are starting to work out peacefully, automatically, without a lot of struggle and suffering. And you are getting access. You yourself, you find yourself that you easily now are getting access to other things that you may not, you were struggling to get access towards because you as a person have changed. And this is exactly what I see in this wisdom part. Obviously, this is so important. How you carry yourself, uh, your understanding about life and how to deal with others. This is all changing in this next quarter. All right, so let's get to the fun part. Your wish fulfillment. It looks like a wish is coming true for you in this quarter. And you are not just getting a bite. You are indulging. You're getting all in. And you can see that something is kicking off for you that you once wished for. And you're all in, enjoying it. Um, you're not uh, letting back, holding back. You're all in <laughs> having so much fun with this wish fulfillment starting for you. And I see specifically that this wish is going to begin as a surprise with the alarm. It's kind of like you um, will wake up to such great news. I think we now need your tarot cards for sure to explore this energy <laughs> and find out what are you waking up to? What is this surprise? Um, I feel like a, an alarm interrupts our sleep. So it's kind of like you were moving in your life and with a specific rhythm and suddenly, bam, something happens. It alerts you. It takes all of your attention 
and it turns out to be a wish that you want. So what is that for pile number four, please? <laughs> what is that wish that is coming? Can we get more details? You have the nine of wands. The Ace of Wands, right? The Three of Swords. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Oh, this is something that you did not have access to before. You tried, it caused a lot of pain. It just wasn't working. And do you see the wand here with the light? It's right there in your mind and it's um, burning the net that was on your mind. This is making me think. As mentioned, it was something you couldn't get access to. And I feel like with you being tall here, standing tall, you changing your energy as a result of um, a thought that you've changed and you thought that you came up with is really... Um, burning away the limiting beliefs that you used to have, giving you full access to that energy, allowing you to enjoy it to its more, like, especially in the beginning with the Ten of Cups. Um, remember, the Ten of Cups is a pinnacle, meaning just like the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, um, things will change, but they change to balance. You know, it's kind of like this, euphoric moment when you finally get access to some something and it feels so good and then it starts going to its natural energy so if it's love for example it's kind of like um let's say you haven't experienced love for a very long time and that moment when it happens it's all butterflies <laughs> it's euphoric it feels so good and um, and you can't live with these uh, euphoric emotions forever. You, you get burned out. By time, it balances out and more profound emotions that are much more valuable uh, starts evolving within you. So it's overall an, a beautiful experience. You feel the high of it right when it begins. That's why you have fun in conjunction with fulfillment. You won't believe that it actually happened over night and day. This wish is coming true for you. Do note that obviously, with this specific Ace of Wands, this wish fulfillment is actually a result of your newfound wisdom. And I'm starting to feel like at least this part is not totally related to the change, it's separate. So these are two different things, wonderful things happening for you in the third quarter. And it's coming as a result of you changing your mind, which is very clear here, as you can see. So over night and day, something that you didn't have access to, you will start having access to. And it, it, you're going to feel it in its maximum. By time, um, these emotions will balance out for you to experience them in its right and most favorable nature. Let's pull out some cards and find out the different areas in your life. So when I see something in a general reading that is so undefined, I tend to understand that many different people are listening and this is the uh, specific energy that is me meant for everyone, for the collective to hear. Now, let's get into details. And this way, I can pull out different cards that represent different energies and this way you can see which one it could be for you. So what are the different energies pertaining to this idea for pile uh, number four with their wish fulfillment? Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, the World card, Something is ending for sure. The devil, are you, like all of these are talking about how you were attached to someone, something, a specific path that you absolutely despised, uh, if stuck in a situation you didn't, like you didn't know what to do about the situation, something was heavy and it's all ending here. 
Eight of Pentacles, as well as the Five of Wands. I would say some of you were stuck on a path uh, that you didn't like. This path was so heavy. Some of you felt a sudden uh, block on your path. So some of you it was heavy. Some of you may have, m maybe everything was actually quite okay for a long time. You're just experiencing a moment of really not knowing what to do. Like maybe you reach the end of something or maybe there's still more to go that you would love to experience, but you're just baffled. You don't know what to do with this situation. Uh, for some of you, you are ending a chapter. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was okay, but you wanted something way bigger that you couldn't get access to. And now that is starting for you. Some of you, you were attached to someone in specifically or a toxic situation you didn't know how to get out of that one you're getting out of. Some of you, the eight of pentacles, it's your work or your talent or something that you generally are have mastered experience in. And that's growing for you. And some of you have been struggling with some people um, where all of you were trying to get something. This situation is also ending. So mostly it's a situation, except for your mastery here. It's a situation you were mostly attached to. You didn't know how to get yourself out of. Uh, there was a lot of heaviness. Yeah, I feel like uh, you were struggling with, definitely. We, we, did, we did see that, establish that with the um, fence here. So yeah, it could be somebody. It could be a path that you're in. It could be um, you not knowing what decision to take and you've been suffering on this, trying to decide what to do opposing point of views. Uh, maybe you weren't suffering, but you wanted to pursue more to get more and felt like you couldn't cross that threshold. You're crossing it, uh, stuck in a toxic situation or a toxic person struggling with some people or just wanting to use your expertise and talent to get something that you've always wanted. So these are specifically the different energies that I see. Let's ask, how is this coming as a surprise with the alarm here? Five of swords. These two seem to be coming together. Six of cups and the hanged man. Yes, we do know that you've been in a pause for a long time. You couldn't move. Now things are starting to grow with the Six of Cups in a way that you enjoy it. And it's allowing you to grow as a person. It's allowing maybe if it's your work, for your work to grow. It's allowing for things to grow and prosper. The Queen of Cups. The Five of Cups. So how is this coming as a surprise? You can see the hanged man here or the hanged uh, woman, the hanged man, touching the Daga's rune, which is a rune of transformation. It's a rune of balance. So we did establish over and over that you're reaching a certain balance after a long pause. And it is your conclusion about it that is sparking something. Oh, is the alarm here? You waking up to something. Okay, <laughs> how did I not think about that? Thank you, uh, tarot cards. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and so this is meaning you're growing. This means you're waking up to a realization that is finally removing that blockage and allowing you to grow. And because of this realization, you're no longer attached to something or someone or struggling with them. You no longer are, are stuck, not knowing what decision to take. You're no longer going to be carrying this heaviness. And so your realization and emotional balance is allowing you to drop something 
with the wisdom of knowing what to keep. It's that right balance, right equation that allows things to work perfectly for you. Now, when you reach that balance with the Queen of Cups and that right equation, things start growing exponentially for you. They start working, they start moving and you start enjoying things fully which is what we keep seeing here. So an example of that is, let's say you always wanted to move somewhere or maybe you wanted financial freedom um, or something uh, of that nature. Let's say you pull out a pen and a paper and go, why can't I do this? For example, so you're like, what if I, I cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, and cancel that? Do I really need these things in my life? Are they worth me not pursuing my dreams? Let's say you want to become an artist uh, or pursue your dream job, for example. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to cancel this, 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 and that. Um, I'm going to work as part-time here and then do this in the weekend, this time, I'm able to at least sustain this, this and that. Let me go to my family or my parents and say, hey, would you like to swap what you need? You always wanted this and I get to, for example, get that from you guys this way. Uh, we can both attain what we want. Yeah, sure, that sounds like a great idea. And they're already thanking you for this service. And anyways, I'm just trying to imagine you somehow put things together just because you sit down and realize maybe you're keeping you're keeping yourself stuck without realizing you cancel some things you adjust some things you make a couple of phone calls you speak to your manager you do this this and that and the other and suddenly you find yourself living the dream world and laughing at yourself how did i have that specific combination of opportunities and never made use of it so instantly you start making these changes, you watch yourself doing it and go, oh, I can't believe I'm making these changes. You speak to your manager uh, and you start making st taking steps towards this direction. You work hard and you now have m like many days of the week, let's say five days in your week, m most of the morning for you to work on your specific passion you start selling them, they get sold, you make some deals here and there, they start getting sold. Some suppliers enjoy your work very much. They say that their customers love them. Uh, these would be, wouldn't be suppliers, they would be your clients in that case. It starts working, you start making money and you can't believe the new life that you're absolutely enjoying, the freedom, you doing your passion job, uh, and getting the things that you want in life just because you've removed this limitation and figured things out for yourself. So I'm not saying that this is exactly what's going to happen, although this could be exactly <laughs> what will happen for some of you. But all I'm saying is that this is an example to relay the energy that I'm seeing exactly for you. You changing your thoughts about something, finding the right wisdom and how to do something and how to reach your destination. And because you, you're reaching that wisdom, removing the limiting beliefs, realizing that the universe is actually setting it all for you. You just need to pick up the pieces and put them together in the right way because that is the path that the universe is kind of like the universe closing many doors until you figure out and open that one. You, oh, look at that. You open that door you get into it and it becomes abundance. It helps you reach the very dreams that you want. So that's the sort of energy that I'm seeing happening in your life. And because you're changing your mind, you're changing your thoughts, you're changing your ways, um, you're making the right decisions for yourself, you will realize that in this quarter, your life is changing. In fact, something is kicking off and you're super indulgent in it. You're so in it, you're enjoying every minute of it. Ah, <laughs> I love this for you. Please do tell me when this happened, what you are enjoying here. I would be so happy for you. Okay, so let me now shuffle your cards and get to this part right there. Okay, so now let's take a look at this part right there. Do you see there is a broken log of 
wood. It's, and it's between the rescued and power. It seems very clearly that something was about to break in your life. And I'm saying about because it's in the rescued part. And so it seems like you were at a breaking point in some area of your life. Uh, something was about to be snatched, uh, broken, and you are presented here as someone who has the power of manifestation, the power to reimagine things. Can you see it? There we go. The power to reimagine, recreate your reality. And so it seems right there that due to your power of reimagining the situation, you are in the third quarter manifesting a totally different reality and rescuing what was about to break. So this is very interesting. Your reading is so empowering. It shows your power in everything. Did you notice how you've gained wisdom and understanding of a difficult situation and turned it into a wish fulfillment? How you were on the verge of a breaking point and reached like changed your reality here again, gained power, used the power of your visualization and manifestation, your creativity. It seems like you have a very active, creative mind and you redrew, recreated this whole reality for yourself. Now, let's see what in what area of your life this is and how you're saving something to that degree. So impressive, honestly, my dear pile number four. I love stories like that. So let's see what your story is. You've got the, the four of cups. You can see it here with really not knowing what to do. Perhaps feeling a little bit helpless about something. Accepting the situation. No, no. Four of cups is not acceptance. It's a bit of apathy due to not really being happy about the situation, genuinely not knowing what to do. Yeah, you've got the Eight of Swords. You can see that you were really stuck, but it was really always your mind. Here you can see that turning point when you realize that it was your thoughts that were keeping you behind and you realized that there is more than, than what you thought you could do. You have the Four of Wands, so nice. <laughs> you have the Nine of Wands. I'm getting an idea here. The Nine of Wands. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. You took a risk here with the dice. And you've got the Page of Wands. And notice you keep getting this nine of wands. So this power here could be linked to this wish fulfillment. So again, you can see this idea that you were stuck. There was something in your way preventing you from getting out of a, this breaking point from your lack of contentment with regards to something. And you were so stuck, so unhappy up to a breaking point. And you can see here a risk factor, which I saw initially in the Four of Wands and then in the dice of the Wheel of Fortune. I saw it in the Four of Wands because in Thoth, the Four of Wands is the first de decan of Aries. That's like going wholeheartedly in to something, like just jumping into something. Also, the first decan, uh, this, the Four of Wands is Venus in Aries, which is risk-taking. So this says it looks like at some point it things were getting maybe so bad that you're like, you know what? I'm just going to take that risk. I'm going to go all in. <laughs> and you you make it. You become very fortunate. You, you get so excited. You come out to the other side being very pleased, uh, actually ecstatic about the awesome results it gave you. And we saw a similar story here 
actually in your wish fulfillment. Perhaps that's the realization. It's like, I can't live like this anymore. I cannot just take the status quo. And it's almost like the universe intimidating you to take that step. It's kind of like being tra chased by a lion on a cliff and you've got and you got to jump into that lake and you've got and you're like you know what this is getting so bad i must jump into this lake so it's really pushing you out of your comfort zone it's um, you're using your power of creativity to take yourself out of the situation it's like what if I don't have to like be a victim to this reality. What if I jump off of this cliff? It looks a bit scary, but at the end of the day, I will fall into the water. Let me jump and I can swim anyway. Let me jump and take myself out of this situation. So you do jump, you plunge into the lake, you swim a little bit and you're like, I just saved myself from a difficult situation. I imagined this and it worked. Obviously, your story is more sophisticated than that because we can see here that you had to imagine what, how you can bring yourself out of this. And with that power of imagination, you're like, wait, hold up. What if? It's a crazy idea. But what if I do this and I do that? I totally feel like these two are connected because that's this type of same, even same solutions and ideas I'm getting with these two parts. What if I do this? And what if I do this, this and that? This way I won't have to deal with this. And I could at the same time be free to do that. Some kind of thing like that. And it's your power of imagination as well as your boldness that will make you in this quarter very fortunate. Living the life that you wish, experiencing fun. And on top of all of that, there's a new opportunity opening up its doors for you that will make you feel very abundant, very happy, very positive because you will start experiencing the life that you've always imagined for yourself in terms of as well specifically abundance because i remember i saw that in your cards with the queen of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so my dear pile number four this is exactly what i see going on in your fourth quarter i wish you all the best of luck in regards to that may you have your dreams come true may you live a wonderful life this seems to be the beginning of a new way to live for you. Uh, this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number four, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.